Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We just got back from a Google I.O. 2013 at the Moscone Center. We just crossed the street. We are over here in the Marriott Marquis Hotel. And what I would love to show you is a quick hands-on first impression of the new Google Music um, All Access extension of the app. And uh, I just subscribed to it right away because I really needed to check it out. Well, it's a 30 days trial and if I still want to use it, it's like $7.99 a month it's usually 9.99 a month but if you're subscribing before the 30th of june it's 7.99 and therefore i was sold immediately 7.99 that's not too bad it's like an album a month um so let me just show you how the new google music app looks like so first of all what you can see over here is uh what i'm listening to now so these are my latest albums there's a gentleman album there's rammstein and an old miami sound machine with dr beat sisters of mercy and a couple of playlists that i set up and over here um i just played back for the german video some mega death uh skin of my teeth um but what's interesting when we just clicking on the sidebar over here so we have listen now we have my library and playlist you know all of this from the previous version of the app but when i'm just switching to um, pressing on radio it's gonna come up with radio stations based on oh, hello radio here we go it comes up with radio stations based on uh, my favorite music so um, for example I just set up a radio station for based on Countdown uh, to Extinction album from Megadeth which was in my opinion one of the best metal albums to come out in the in the 90s oh this one over here is no one knows uh, from Queens of the Stone Age um, so let's check out what Google comes up with I, uh, there should be also look at this so it shows me some audio slave Foo Fighters what else? Muse, the Black Keys, that's fantastic. Back Soundgarden, the Mars Volta. So, you know, all this nice kind of grunge like stuff that I used to listen to uh, when I was uh, quite a bit uh, younger. But, anyways, I totally love it how precise these recommendations are on uh, Google Play Music All Access. So, this is um, about the radio stations. Let's see how I'm going to get back here. And by the way, you can skip songs and um, there's no limit for this. There's another new uh, menu here saying explore. And it just gives me recommendation again based on the music I've been listening to. So you have recommendations and things that you like. I just have no idea why this is popping up because this is some kind of weird German wannabe gangster hip hop that I'm absolutely not listening to. So wherever you got this from Google, uh, that's not me and it's definitely not my taste in music. Um, let's switch on the recommendation. Um, here we go. So system of a down, toxicity, but I'm pretty sure that this is even in my library. So anyways, a pretty cool music that gets recommended to me and it just tells you um, this, this tells the whole story of this keynote today, right? It's all about data, it's all about information, and it's all about connecting data and information. So the new uh, Google Music app should be available. No, it's not should be available. It is available right now. You can just uh, update it, and if you like All Access, you can subscribe to it right away, 30 days trial, and after 30 days, you have to pay $7.99 or $9.99 a month. For me, this is definitely something really interesting and uh, in the next couple of days and weeks, I would try to figure out if this is going to be a substitute uh, for my Spotify, which I absolutely love. So that was a quick hands-on and first impression of uh, Google Music, all access. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks over here at Google I.O. 2013 in San Francisco. Thanks for watching. Bye.